Your retailers care. I mean, there's an inventory crunch out there, is there not? You're right. There is an inventory crunch, Brian. Thank you for having me. It's basically taking, could be up to two weeks to get goods from the containers to the ports. And then let's not forget trucker availability to get goods driven from the ports to the warehouses. And we have Easter coming up in early April this year. So they're going to be need to get new goods in, whether for buying in store or for shipping for online. So we're, what are they telling you, Dana? I mean, you you need to have the goods to sell to the people, whether it's online or in the stores. Uh, is this going to crimp? Maybe not earnings, but is it going to crimp guidance? I think overall, I don't think a lot of companies can give guidance when they report numbers over the next two weeks. Mm. I think the uncertainty of what COVID's doing is still preventing that. I think the topic of discussion is going to be, what does the recovery look like in getting back towards anywhere near 2019 earnings levels? Companies cut expenses. They adjusted certainly the, their inventory levels. You have the pressures of wages and freight that are there, but you also reduce some of the occupancy costs. So what are you going to do in order to hit those 2019 levels? And what you may see is that 2021 is a transition year towards recovery in 2022. You know, almost every retail stock is up in the past year, except for Macy's. They're down 7% in the past 12 months. They report tomorrow. I, I don't want to pick on Macy's. They had problems before COVID. Uh, is there any value here in this, in this equity? It's one of the few names that's in the red on my screens, Dana. We've seen some of the big laggards perform. And part of the reason why is they did cut expenses. You're going to have a 90-minute earnings call tomorrow with an update on their Polaris strategy. You're going to continue to hear about the curation of brands, e-commerce, and frankly, what they can do with sales recovery. Keep in mind that you have, whether it's Macy's on 34th Street or Bloomingdale's or urban area stores where the traffic is lacking. Did the e-commerce penetration make up for it? And what have you been able to do on the expense side? There's value in Macy's, but there's always value at a price. And what can they see in the recovery of earnings will be the direction there. You certainly have seen some movement today in what you've seen with Kohl's, given that that's moved a mm -hmm. lot lately because it's off mall. We're getting pressure from the on mall retailers where there's been a lack of traffic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.